Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who may have watched my recent shopping vlog, you'll know that I picked up some goodies for myself. I am definitely spoiling myself these days as summer has come around and summer is my absolute favorite season. I definitely get more excited in the summertime on all levels, including shopping, and my birthday is coming up soon, so I'm definitely just letting loose a bit. So I did pick up a few goodies from Manolo Blahnik, and I also picked up a goodie from Longshot. If you missed that shopping vlog, definitely go back and watch it. I'll link it up above because I show so much eye candy and also for the shoes, I show how each pair looks on me. I tried them all on. I tried on so many and so you can see mod shots. In this video, I'm just going to focus on close-ups of each item. So I've got three, yes, three shoe boxes from Manolo. I told you I went a little bit crazy, but I am really excited because I haven't bought much in terms of shoes and sandals in a long time, and I'm actually swapping out. I'm letting go of some old pairs um, that are, they're just kind of gnarly now, so I am going to let go and then reintroduce or introduce these new ones into my wardrobe. So the very first one here is a sandal. Dun, dun, dun. I know many of you voted on my Instagram stories saying that you guys like this pair. I really love it, especially in this bright, clean white. So I'll give you the official names and the prices for those of you who are interested. Manolo is quite pricey, at least for me it is. Um, but they're beautiful and classic, and I'm hoping that they'll be comfortable in the long run. So these right here, these are called the Tituba to tuba flats and they come in various different colors this is the white le leather that i chose it has that classic oversized buckle i did like that it had the two straps because then my feet are very secure inside and since you guys know i walk a lot here in the city i live in manhattan um, i don't want my feet flopping around and i don't want my feet slipping out either so let me show you the box in case you want to see so here it is to tuba flat and typically I'm between a size eight or an eight and a half. In these, I went up to a nine and they fit really well. Um, I noticed that when I tried on the eight and a half, my heel was just at the end here and I don't really like that. It's a personal preference. I prefer for there to be just a smidge of space between my heel and the actual shoe heel so that, I don't know, it doesn't look like it's the exact same size. So I did go up a size and I got the nine or I got the 39 in these and this is all Napa leather flats and like I said brand new all made in Italy so this one definitely excited to start wearing very soon it's gonna be very summery um, the price let me just pull up my receipt price for these were 815 so it's a lot um, for sandals but I, I probably won't be buying sandals again for another few years that's just how I roll if I like a pair of shoes or sandals I just kind of wear them until they're done um, which is why I'm swapping out some other pairs from back in the day. Uh, then we have this. Oh, this one is empty because I already started wearing. So this one, I'll show you. I have them here. They're dirty because I wore them out already and I don't want to put them down on my rug. So these, I know a lot of you guys commented after watching my vlog that you like these as well. The circles, these are called the Baramu flats. Let me show you. Can you see Baramu? And they're in this like beautiful deep caramel brown, also sized up and got a 39. So if you're in between sizes, then maybe go up a half a size. And I just thought these look so pretty. Again, if you wanna see mod shots and how they look on me, then go check out that vlog. Um, because I put a lot of footage in there. So these are super cute. Um, these were a little bit more than the white pair. I don't know why. Maybe because of the circle pattern, it's a bit more intricate to make. These cost $9.25. So let me put these up here. And I'll put these up here. And then, last but not least, I don't know if you guys can guess, but I was pretty smitten with these at the store and I was hemming and hawing going back and forth and then I just told myself you know what just just make yourself happy you know stop being so 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 I don't know overthinking and, and being so strict and restrictive right so here we go dun, 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 dun. yes these are the classic Manolo Hengizi flats however 
Each season, Manolo makes special limited edition pairs, and then once they're sold out, they're never made again. So these are this season's limited edition, and what's different about these is that um, you can see here how detailed it is. It's this mesh material combined with satin, and of course Manolo, many of their pumps and flats are made of satin, so that's their signature look. And then of course you have the very classic Manolo um, what is this like not really a buckle it's some embellishment right and normally they do this in crystals that's where we see most um, how most of the shoes are made crystals but this season they decided to do pearls and from what I understand at least what I was told by the sales associate who helped me she said this is the first time ever that Manolo has done this type of combination with pearls so I did try on the cream colored ones they were gorgeous go back again if you missed that vlog you have to see them they're so 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 pretty but I kind of felt like they were a bit bridal you know they look like wedding shoes um, I would have loved to have worn those on my wedding day and just from a day-to-day -day practicality standpoint I couldn't figure out how I would wear those and I felt like they would get dirty really fast so I went for the darker color I would say this is in the gray family um, there was a woman sitting next to me and she was watching me try these on and then she tried them on and then she also bought a pair so we both walked out with these they're really just I don't know it's like total eye candy now these definitely are um, you know a pretty penny so these cost eleven seventy five. so um, you know they're definitely not uh, cheap but I will have them for a long long time and I will wear them with jeans I will wear them with skirts and dresses I can dress them up for work occasions I can dress them down for anything I can go um, to date nights and dinners and everything and every anything above right so this I just thought was I don't know I kind of feel like they're my early birthday shoes you know like my my treat so these are more practical I needed sandals I needed to update my sandals and this is totally just a treat for the eyes and for the feet so I will put this out here and then I want to show you also what I picked up from Longchamp I'm so so excited did you guys watch the video where I showed uh, designer alternatives and different style bags and also bags that I was eyeing because if you missed it you might want to double back if I can find it I will try to link it up above but there was a bag from Longchamp that I was really smitten with and we had a whole chat about it in the comment section um, and eventually I decided I wasn't going to get it because I wasn't quite sold on the idea but I found this one and you'll know if you watch that vlog I saw this one and immediately within a second I knew look at this can you guess try to take a guess down below and I'd love to know if you guys know what is this so this is you know what I'm gonna move all the shoes because I want this bag to have the center stage at the moment so this one here is the Longchamp bucket bag that I have been talking about and filming about and raving about and trying on. And I wasn't 100% sold. I've never owned a bucket bag before. And I wasn't sure how I would feel about using it. And this does not have a longer strap. So it's not like I could wear it on my shoulder or crossbody. Actually, this does fit on my shoulder. There's enough room here um, over my shoulder if I'm wearing just like a t-shirt or tank top. But namely, this is mainly this is supposed to be held like this as a bucket bag or in the crook of your arm. And in that vlog video, I showed what this looked like also if you want to see mod shots. So I won't insert them here because you can always go back and look. But this is like this too, like these shoes are limited edition. So there's a theme happening here. Um, there was only one in the store and there was another one with a different color palette that was darker but my eyes went straight to this this is all woven leather it's so 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 detailed it's meticulous the stitching and the craftsmanship is amazing I mean good job Longchamp right and this bright blue it's like a royal blue handle and this one simple closure, you guys have heard me talk about this if you watch those videos where I rave about this bucket bag. It's all lined in gorgeous soft suede. It smells so good, you guys, if you love the smell of like new leather. 
And only handbag lovers will, I think, understand this, right? Our craziness. There is that one pocket here, which is nice to have. And otherwise, it's very, very simple. Look at the bottom. It's like this perfect circle. It's very chic and minimalist and sophisticated. But then it's so fun because it has all this color and texture to it so i felt like this was extra special uh compared to the classic styles of this bucket bag which are also beautiful this is a little bit more uh, in terms of price but still amazing you guys so this is under 500 dollars. i got it for 495 i think the other versions that are just like one color are 395 or something so it's about a hundred dollar difference but it is just the camera I don't think is doing it justice because in person you can see the leather shine and the texture and the the little bits that are interwoven and then look at the detail here it's so cleanly done now I did see I, I know this is not going to show up because it's dark in here but on this little tag I noticed that it says made in France now the other ones I think it said either made in Morocco or made in Vietnam so with Longchamp you have like a whole variety of uh, places that the bags can be made from this in particular is made in France I think because it's limited edition and it probably took more effort and craftsmanship um, like all this patterning it came straight from France so I don't know I think it's just beautiful it's gonna be a really fun summer bag but I feel like I can wear it all season I can just I, I could wear like all white outfit and then a pop of color with this you know or even like denims I feel like would look so so pretty so I I don't know like I didn't even want to ask anyone's opinion I didn't need to pause and think about it as soon as I grabbed it I was like oh. and I said do you have any more and she said that's the only one I was like I'll take it <laughs> So that's how it happened and ta-da! So I haven't really added many bags to my collection this year. You guys know over the last several months starting last year I was really slowing down um, but I am definitely having fun with just going outside my comfort zone playing with colors and textures and I'm definitely doing that at home as well as you can see I've got this new rug I won't get into it because I can gush about this rug forever it's so beautiful um, and I am just getting a little bit more playful if you missed my recent Hermes unboxing I, I also got a very beautiful Twilly my first Twilly for my Birkin and I'm having fun with that too so definitely branching out anyway hope you enjoyed this video I'll show all the goodies once once more before we say bye bye and I'd love to know which one is your favorite down below in the comment section um, they're all just beautiful you know again I think these for me are just more practical beautiful sandals but practical this is a treat this is also a treat and i'm just really happy and i do have some more exciting vlogs and unboxings coming soon more than um i think is normal for me but again just bear with me because i know going into july i just i always get like this as it gets close to my birthday and i really come alive in the summer and i everything just looks so beautiful to me i don't know what it is so there will be a lot of fun and exciting videos coming soon so stay tuned if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel and you enjoy this type of eye candy and if you love handbags i would really appreciate you joining this community because we have lots of fun here and in particular in the comment section i love to read everything you guys have to say so leave me a comment and i will see you all next time thanks so much bye bye